this is Jeff from Mobedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the basics of track navigation in Studio One. And for this video, I'm going to focus specifically on keyboard shortcuts that enable you to navigate within individual tracks to access really important buttons such as solo, mute, record, as well as showing envelopes function, moving backwards and forwards between tracks and track heights. So let's dive right in. We've got a multi-track session here. And what I want to do is start utilizing some of the controls on these tracks, such as solo, mute, and record. To put a track that has the current focus into solo, you just simply hit the S key. As you can see, that just soloed that track, and I can unsolo it the same way. If I just want to mute that track, I'll hit the M key. If I want to engage the input monitor function of a track, to be able to listen to a live input, you would hit the U key. Now, if I wish to input monitor and record arm a track at the same time, I would hit the R key. Another useful shortcut to know is, especially if you're going to be working with a lot of automation, is when you hit the A key, now all your tracks go into a envelope view that enables you to choose which parameter you wish to automate, as well as adding new parameters. And when you're done, just hit A, and it goes back to the normal track view. Now, some other very simple but powerful shortcuts to understand is the up and down arrow, which simply lets you move up and down across tracks. Now, for regular horizontal zoom, you would use the W key to zoom out and E to zoom in. But sometimes you need to see your tracks vertically larger or smaller. And to do that, you add shift to those two shortcuts. So, in other words, shift E to make them taller, shift W to make them shorter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short primer on navigating around tracks in Studio One. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.